Hi there, welcome to Under the Cell Scope. My name is Lee Davenport and I put a spotlight on different technologies for realtors to help you work smarter so you can spend more time selling homes and less time with tech support. So let's get started. Today, less annoying CRM is going under the cell scope. And what you'll notice is that I am going to cover some of the my favorite features about less annoying CRM that will help you work smarter. But I'm also going to cover some of their, I won't call them fails, um, but some of the things that could be better that unfortunately will cause you to work harder than some of the other CRMs out there. So let's take a look at those things. This will not be a tutorial because of course they've got several tutorials showing you how to use this CRM. But again, I just want to point out some of the pros and cons. Okay. So I am in the settings and I want to show you all of the different features that the less annoying CRM offers. First and foremost, just like any good CRM, they allow you to import and export contacts using a database such as Excel, or you can do a CSV file. You can manage your users by inviting other people that maybe work in your realty firm that are on your team, or maybe they are outside vendors such as your loan officer, your home inspector, whoever else you need to give access to certain features of your database, you can. With a CRM, the whole point is so that you can manage not only the context you have, but the stage of follow-up that they are in. Maybe it's a buyer who has decided to take a six month break from looking for, for homes, you wanna be able to follow up with that person and any good CRM will allow you to do that. So notice here that they give you the option for pipelines. So you can say whether someone is in the pre-approval process, they're just getting their loan, they've moved on to searching for a home, they're under contract, they're going through a home inspection, you can create these different stages or pipelines so that you can know where each and every contact is in the home buying or selling process. You can also create custom fields. That is super important with this particular CRM because unfortunately, here's one of the things that's gonna make you work harder. They do not have very well built out templates to use for those pipelines. This CRM is not created specifically for the real estate industry, but even still, you would think it, it would have a better defined pipeline template, and it doesn't. The template has about four options in it. And let's take a look at those. So using their template, I decided to create a demo pipeline and I entitled it First Time Home Buyer. Let me click on edit so you can see what they have included. So they automatically have prospect, qualified lead under active status. And then under closed status, they have sell completed and sell lost. That is definitely not sufficient for a real estate professional. So here, you will need to build this out. And again, as you can see, they offer this option to create a new status, which you will have to do. Because again, you may wanna be able to specify if someone is in the pre-approval process, maybe they're working on credit repair, or maybe they're um, saving money to build up their down payment. You can create a status that identifies the specific stage that they're in. And you're gonna to have to do it because unfortunately, as you can see, they do not give you enough in their templates. So that is something, again, that I don't like. Let's go back to settings and let's take a look at all of the things. So as I mentioned here, you're gonna to have to add a custom field. You can also add groups. 
so that you can find your contacts easily. And this may be if you have farm areas, particularly several farm areas, you could create groups based on subdivisions or you can create groups based off of the people in your lives. So maybe these are coworkers or maybe these are neighbors, family, so forth. You can also include your brand information. Of course, you can change your personal settings, billing information on that row. Now here are some of the things that I want to talk about. Unfortunately, they fall in both the pros and cons section. This app does give you mobile access. As you can see, I am using it from my cell phone, which is a good thing. It is a website dependent upon you having internet access. So unfortunately, they do not have an option where you can go offline. And that is that can be critical because as many of us have experienced in selling homes, you can go to an area and there's you're not able to get a mobile signal, Wi-Fi signal, nothing. So you may not want to lose the ability to see your contacts. The next thing is this email feature. You can log emails in the CRM. Let's take a look at that. So here, they give you, as you can see, they have given me an email address for this system. This can be a helpful tool, but it can also become rather cumbersome because every time I send or receive an email, I need to include this email address that they give me. Now, of course, you can make it short create a shortcut, which is what they show you how to do, so that instead of having this long email address, you have something saved in your contacts. But here's the problem. Every email that I send, if I want it to be included in my contacts information in this database system, I have to copy this email address. So I might forget, and that's a problem to me. Or if someone emails me, I have to then forward this to this email address. Yet again, what if I forget? And as you know, in real estate, our correspondence, particularly that by email, can be critical. It can be life or death for our business, and it can determine whether or not we're part of a lawsuit, whether or not we have, we're paid our commission properly. So... I'm not in love with this. I think this is a good feature or a good start to a feature they should have. It should have email integration that tracks the emails that are being sent to and from the different people that you have put in your CRM. But unfortunately, again, if you don't remember to either copy or forward these emails, it won't be saved in this system. And I think this is a good backup to have as well as it would sync with each contact. So when you click on a contact, you can now see all of the correspondence related to them, whether it's from them, other vendors, attorneys, your broker, whatever it may be. So this was a good thought, but I don't think they really got this to completion in the way that we as real estate professionals need to use it. Going back to settings, let's take a look at the Google integration. This is Google integration, and I think they had another great ideal here, but they did not see it all the way through to the where it's truly an added benefit to the real estate professional's career. So they give you the option where your contacts, calendar, and email can be synced with your Gmail or Google account. Now we've already talked about email. Truly the only way to sync it is to have emails copied or forwarded to the email address that you're given. In regards to the calendar, let's take a look. I'll click on set up calendar syncing and notice their disclaimer that they give here. They said only future events will be synced tasks will not be synced and that's unfortunate 
they also say there's no way to create recurring events in the less annoying CRM, but they do offer tech support for their software, not for the Google side of things. I think this again was a great thought, but they just didn't nail it for the real estate professional because there's too many things that will not sync with the calendar where you'll be better off just going into your Google Calendar app and adding whatever appointment because literally we all know it can take less than a minute to add it. And instead of using their syncing process, which may or may not work, which will not pull over tasks, which will not pull over recurring events, this can become annoying. And unfortunately, they're called less annoying C CRM, but I personally think this is very annoying and is something that I hope to see them correct in future editions. So going back, now let's take a look at contacts. So you can integrate your Google contacts. Here's the page with their disclaimer. And as you can read, you'll see that they do not do a good job with the syncing process. For example, if you've added contacts in the CRM, but they unfortunately are already in maybe your Google contacts and you forgot that happens. We do it. You may have forgotten that you've met someone before, or maybe you didn't realize you had their information. This system will not do a good job of cleaning up duplicates. Also, if you delete something in the CRM, they will be re-added during the next sync. We're back in settings and I want to show you the rest of the features that are available through Less Annoying CRM. They also have email marketing through MailChimp, Merge Contacts in Bulk, and Programmer API, which is great where you can connect with your website if you're, particularly if you're using something like WordPress, that can be a wonderful feature. But let's take a look at one last feature because I want to show you, although they had a good thought in mind, the execution of this was not the best. First and foremost, they say MailChimp will only accept contacts with email addresses. Now as, now, as a busy real estate professional, we know this is not always feasible. Many times we may meet people and only get their phone number or their social media contact information. Maybe we're friends with them on Facebook or Instagram, but don't have an email address for them. This system is not going to be able to sync that information with MailChimp and more importantly and more devastatingly it's going to delete it. Here is where it says it, it says it will be removed from any groups you sync with MailChimp. The second problem they mention is that they're only able to sync two fields the email address field and the name field. So if you have information about birthdays any notes, any other field, it is not going to sync. And yet again, I think this was a great idea, but they did not deliver on the whole point of integration. So now we're back in settings for just a final recap. As you've seen, there are many great features of this CRM. And as you can see here at the top, it is $10 a month. If this CRM were free, then I would say with all of these features, it would be something to help a new real estate agent that doesn't yet want to spend a lot of money on a CRM. However, being that this does cost money each month, and as I've shown, it does not execute well its Google integration features or its MailChimp integration features, I would highly recommend you not using this CRM until they fix these issues.